Welcome. This is the Jenkins Platform Special Interest Group. It's the 8th of April, 2022. Uh, today's agenda items, we have open action items, Docker agent support additions being considered, Linux, Linux packages on system D, requiring Java 11 for core, Java 17 support, changes in the Docker image exit lifecycle and the She Code Africa pipeline help project that we're starting. Any other topics we need to put on the agenda? Okay, then let's go ahead. So by way of open action items, I've still got one open action item, which is that the plugin installation manager tool documentation needs to be improved. We have a, an outdated pull request that proposed some changes that needs to be go through a major revision and then be applied as a pull request to the tool repository rather than to the Jenkins.io doc site. And, and that's one that it's just gonna have to wait. I don't have time to do it right now. We'll work on it when time allows. All right, next topic is just a status report. We've had a request from Jenkins users to please support Docker on Windows Server 2022 LTSC. And we're interested in that, but the Kubernetes version that first supports it is not available in the Jenkins infra yet. So it will be a while before we get to this one. The infra team is aware, aware, and they've put it into their list of work to do. Then another piece of news, Linux packages switched in Jenkins, in the most recent Jenkins long-term support release from using system five in it, the old style of doing package initialization to the new style using system D. And that change had a few minor fixes in the most recent LTS and it's looking good. Last topic, our next topic was Java 11 or newer for Jenkins core or any, sorry, I should ask any questions from anyone on topics we've addressed so far. Okay, require Java 11 or newer is in progress. Right now, the topic for discussion is we think we're ready for to say that September, 2022 should be the release. And uh, Mark to open the discussion or to continue the discussion in the uh, mailing list and the pull requests. We have it in several locations. It's a matter of getting everyone to agree. Yes, September, 2022 is the right time to do this. On the Java 17 topic, we've got tooling improvements that are in progress. Thanks to Basil Crow for his work on those. Plugins will need to perform updates and users can already begin testing it with Jenkins 2.339 and 339 and later. We are currently at 2.342, so can test and experiment already. Any questions on those topics? All right, last item. This one, Kevin, may, may be relevant to you. The Docker images that the Jenkins project provides will be using a new technique to handle what happens when the Jenkins process exits. So what this is, is when the Jenkins project process is asked to restart itself, Today, it uses some complicated Linux specific logic to, to end the process and restart it. Uh, next weekly release will simplify that dramatically. Instead of the complicated logic, Jenkins will just exit. 
and it will then rely on the Docker container, on the Docker container runtime to restart the process. So that makes it easier for us to maintain the, the Jenkins core code and gives better control over Docker. However, that is a behavior change that needs uh, more explanation, may need a blog post, etc. Any questions on that one? Okay, then we can spend some significant time on the next topic. Welcome to Sophia and to Afi. Um, Sophia, could you tell us something about yourself first? And then Afi will ask you to, so that the She Code Africa Contributhon is starting now. And these are two new participants to the Jenkins project who are part of She Code Africa Contributhon. They'll be helping us with pipeline help. Sophie, can you, Sophia, do you wanna go first? Yes, I wanna go, Kevin, I'm Michael, thank you. So um, I'm Sophia Kito. I am a Java backend developer at a startup in Nigeria called Kwabi. Um, I started Java programming just um, a few years back. And although I do not necessarily have an, a software engineering background, I actually did study petroleum engineering, but I was able to creep into the um, tech, um, um, to, um, into software, um, um, due to um, personal studies. And today I'm actually a Java de um, developer. So it's really exciting and fun. I do hope to actually explore other aspects of um, software, like engineering team, engineer lead, and, um, and software architectures and the rest. But for now, I'm just aiming to be a Java rockstar. Um, this happens to be my first open source project, so I am really, really excited. And um, I just can't wait to start. Thank you for the opportunity. Thanks very much, Sophia. It's great to have you with us. And I think you'll find your Java experience quite helpful. We look forward to working with you. Afi, you. would you like to be next? Oh, oh, yes, and Sophia, yeah. Sophia, you said you're from Nigeria, right? So Afi, be sure you tell everyone where you're from, et cetera. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Afi, I'm from Ghana. I am a software engineer with Turntable and also a contingent for Morgan Stanley. So with my stack, I don't really have a stack. I've worked on Java Spring. I really love Spring Boot. So I've had experience with that in React, but currently I'm more on a Python Flux um, project. Yes. So um, I'm mostly happy to be here. I'm excited to work on like this this project, this Jenkins pipeline project. Funny thing is, I, I have like I have failed builds with like after building with Jenkins. So I really love to like go in and like learn how to contribute more in order to understand what happens under the hood. Yeah, and hopefully solve my my build issues. <laughs> yeah, so I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to learn more. Great, thank you. Well, and and I think that's a that's the kind of mutual benefit that we hope all of us receive. Right, is by you helping open source, open source also helps you. We like that. We like both of those. Great. Yeah. Excellent. So, so while we're here, Kevin, would you be willing to introduce yourself? Yeah, of course. Uh, hi, um, my name is Kevin Martins. I am uh, <clears throat> just recently uh, joined CloudBees as a technical documentation uh, writer. Uh, I've joined the community team, so I'll be working really closely with Mark to help get the documentation maintained, updated, and uh, just constantly looking towards ways to help everyone out through Jenkins documentation. Um, I'm really excited to be getting to work with everyone, and I'm really looking forward to helping out with uh, these projects in Chicode Africa and everything. I just found out about this from Mark recently, and uh, I honestly got goosebumps hearing about it because it's really, really cool, really, really inspirational. And uh, I was able to talk to my girlfriend about it because it's, it's something very close to her and, and what she does. So um, she was really excited about it as well. So it's just really, really cool, really, really awesome. And I'm so excited to have you come aboard and join us up. So welcome. 
Excellent. Thank you. Thanks very, very much. Thanks to all of you. So what I wanted to do was give, give an overview of how this particular specific project will work. And I'd like to spend as much as 15 minutes on it. The idea being, if I say something that causes you to have, feel, have a question, please just unmute and ask the question. Interrupt me. Don't, don't delay. Don't feel shy about, oh, that's, I didn't understand that, Mark. Just ask right out. That way, we've, if there's some surprise. So I think what we should first talk about is timeline so that we've got a framework. And then we should talk about pipeline help or initial setup, and then the pipeline help specifics. And when do we meet next to talk about pipeline help or pipeline health pipeline? Yeah, talk about pipeline help. Does that seem reasonable to everyone? It does. Great. Okay. So timeline, April 5 through, I think it's about April 19 uh, is the two weeks of, I put that in question mark because I don't remember the exact date, uh, what, what we're calling community bonding. This is a chance to get started. And we're going to get to know each other, understand how, how we work together, how we submit pull requests, experiment, get, get our development environments ready, uh, learn a little bit about Jenkins, those sorts of things in this two weeks, because this is where we sort of warm up to each other, be sure that we understand, okay, this is how we're going to tell each other how we're doing, and this is Let's find some problems together. Let's fix those problems, that kind of thing. Then we'll have a four week period from April something to, I think it's April, let's call it 19. Again, I don't remember the exact date. I'll have to look it up to May 19, where we actually do the project work. This is four weeks of, four weeks of working on on the specific tasks. And then we've got a two week conclusion, a wrap up period. And that's where write final reports, uh, submit final details, et cetera. Any questions on the timeline? Okay. So then in the initial setup, the community bonding period, this is where we have each of the, each of our contributors. So Afi and Sophia get started, right? And the get started, the, the best way that it has worked for me in the past to do the get started is each of you will create your own copy of the, the doc, document that we use as a base, and you'll start making your notes in that copy. Start taking notes in that copy as you make progress. The idea is make that document public so that Mentors can see it. And when there's a question, you encounter a question, note it in the document and ask it in the Slack channel as well. Now, this brings me to a good question. Kevin, I don't know that we've gotten you subscribed to the Slack channel yet. So Kevin, are you hooked into the CDF, the Continuous Delivery Foundation Slack? I would bet not. Nope, I'm currently not uh, a member of that Slack channel. Good, okay, so I am going to do the invite. I think I can figure out how to do this. So on my screen, you should see it. And somewhere here, there's a way to add a member. So 
Kevin, I assume you're interested in this. So I'm going to add kmartins at cloudbees.com and invite. So you should get an email. This person looks, yes. So you are a coworker. Good. As a member. Yes. Okay. So Kevin, could you check your email and confirm that you've received that invite? Sophia and, and Afi, I believe this is how you were invited, wasn't it? Or did you have to register some other way? Uh, I got the email. Yeah, got an email. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so this then, oh yes, and Kevin, very good. All right, so Kevin has joined. Welcome to the CDF Slack workspace. And now that Kevin's joined, I think that should have put you in the list. And it did. Kevin, no, oh yes, there we are, good, okay. So, very good. Great, thank you. All right, so. <laughs> all right, so we've got, we've talked through a little bit of initials, initial setup. Now, a piece of this is this pipeline help document. And for that, I've got a, a drive folder that I've been using. It is, ah, fat fingers. She code Africa here. And so in this folder, okay, folder, she code Africa folder, contribute on folder. And Sophie and Afi, Sophia and Afi, you both have access to that, right? Yes, I do. Yes. Great. Excellent. Okay. So, and then in the folder, there is the project document. Let's get a copy of this. And what you do is each of you should make a copy of that document and it would be easiest for me if you put that copy or a link to that copy into the people folder here for you. So Sophia, you would put yours here in this people folder so that I can find it easily. If, you, if you'll share it with me, even if you don't put it there, I'll put a link to it there. You know, Sophia and Afi, have you, have you each copied this document? If not, would you be willing to do it now? Okay. Oh, good. All right. So here, I'm going to, I'm going to paste a link to this document okay. into the chat, into the, um, yeah, into this chat system. Where is the chat? Chat. Here we go. Okay. So here's the Google doc in the chat. If you could open that and then do a file, make a copy. And then after you've made the copy, do the share to share it to me so that I can then put it into the right location. Or I can put a link to it in the right location. And it would be best if we could do that now. Are you okay doing that now, Sophia Nafi? Yes, sir. Great. All right, now I need to check my emails. I should see a, an invitation. 
Okay, I'm not seeing invitations to your document yet. Be sure that what you do is you click the share here at the top right and add mark.earl.wait at gmail.com. Ah, oh, here we go. Afi, I see yours. Great. All right. So open it. So here is the copy and I'm going to do file, add shortcut to drive, put it into my drive here. Jenkins, she code Africa. Contribute on 2022. People mentees and this is Afi's okay so there we go all right so now what I'll see when I look at that folder is I will see there's a link of to Afi's copy good all right and Sophia I see yours now perfect so same exercise I'm going to make a, I'm going to add a shortcut. Excellent. Thank you. So what this will do is this gives you a structured place to start through a series of tasks in this startup phase. And, and if you hit a problem, raise a, note, a, note a question in the document and raise a question on Slack and we'll discuss it. We'll talk through it. Okay. And Sophia. Great. All right. So now I should see the same thing here when I look at Sophia's copy. Ah, good. Okay. So Sophia, you put you put yours actually in your folder. Is that right? Yes, I did. Ah, very good. Okay. So then I can just delete that because I can see the original copy. Perfect, thank you. All right. Okay, so then what you'll do is go through those steps and, and this, is, this is the place where the steps are imperfect. They are, I'm sure there are mistakes in them. I'm sure there are things that I, I just didn't capture. What, what helps is if you've, when you've completed something, Paste the screenshot right here. Okay. And, and that way it's, okay, I did it. Sure. And that's, that makes it easier for the mentors to see, ah, okay, progress is being made. And as we go through it, then we'll, we'll get you these experiences. And this, this actually takes through quite a number of steps on how to do this exercise. Ultimately, we'll need to next week meet together to talk about which plugins each of you should work on and what your experience will be there. But for now, I think there's enough here for you to get started without us assigning you a specific plugin. Are the two of you okay taking that approach where you'll just get started and, and let us know how you're, how you're feeling? Okay, no problem. I think I've already started, but I just, had some issues, so I had to pause for a while. No problem. That and and this is we we know that you're you're employed full time at other places and that you've got other things going on. This is not a pressure generating effort. This is just a let's help you get started. And if there are things that surprise you, share with us what surprised you so we can make this better. Thank you. All right. Are there any other questions? For me, I think that covered all the topics that I wanted to add, except when do we meet next? What, what would work for the two of you in terms of a next meeting? If we met middle of next week, would that be okay? And are, is this time okay? Or would it be better for you if we met two or three hours earlier or an hour or two later? What times work for you? Uh, so for me, uh, from 3 p.m. 
GMT, that's like ETC. That's that works for me. Okay, great. And if we went sometime between 3 p.m. and say 6 or 7 UTC, is that okay or is that too late? Mm, that's also okay. Okay. Sophia, how about you? Um, for me, uh, I think from 6 um, UTC, 6 p.m. UTC is okay. Anytime from, from the, yeah, it's okay for me. Okay. That also right, works so so that also works for me. So from three okay. or four or five, six is also not bad. So I could just like quickly like get home and then just like log in from here. So that also works for me. Okay. Great. And Kevin, for you, six p.m. UTC, okay? Uh, yeah, that should work perfectly for me. Um, I don't really have too much. Yeah, that should be perfect. Okay. Let me. Let me, I'm gonna stop sharing briefly while I look at my, my personal calendar. Be right back, just a minute. Okay, so calendar here. Oh no, that's not the right one. Okay, so 6 p.m. UTC. Oh, that works well for me almost any day. That's great, okay. so. So if we were to meet Wednesday at 6 p.m. UTC or Tuesday at 6 p.m. UTC. So Tuesday, let's see, I need to look at the right week. Okay, Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday or Wednesday. Wednesday. Do you have, do you have preference which of those two days is better? Okay, well, so now, now the challenge, would Thursday be a better one for either of you? Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday? <laughs> tell me tell me which one's... Okay, I'll go Thursday for Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> yeah, Thursday. Okay, let, and let me double check my schedule for Thursday. So it's complicated. There are four of us here. Of course, it's going to be complicated scheduling. So let's see. Let me look at my calendar again. Okay, Thursday at, oh, okay, Thursday at 6 p.m. is documentation office hours, Europe. If you're willing to join that meeting, I could just extend that meeting and we would talk about documentation in the, in the first part of it. Or, or you could, we could say we'll do our meeting at 6.30 p.m. UTC. What's your preference? Would 6.30 be okay? Sorry, yeah, say again. Yeah, 6.30 would be okay for me. Yeah, 6.30 would be okay for me. And, and Sophia, would 6.30 on Thursday be okay for you? Yes, it will be. Okay, all right. So let's, let's put it then as, so Thursday at 6.30 p.m. UTC, and I will schedule the session uh, in the Jenkins calendar. Um, I would normally invite each of you to that meeting from the Jenkins calendar. That means your email address will be put in the calendar. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. Great, okay. So invite all. Now that session time is a little is complicated for our our project manager. Enough. Oh dear. Now I'm forgetting her name. How embarrassing! That is really sad. Nasifa. Oh dear, I, I forget. But our project manager is is unavailable after sunset, and so we'll go without her for that session. And we may do a, an every couple of weeks, a sync session with her where I'll talk with her separately during her, her daylight hours. That sounds good. All right. Well, cool. Okay. I think that covered all the topics I had. Anything else before we end for today? Um, 
Mark, I, I don't know. Do we actually have like a direct mentor or you are a direct mentor? I am I am your direct mentor. Okay, sounds fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, so on this particular project, we used this, this, this project technique last year and we mentored, we may have, if, I, if I'm able to recruit additional mentors, I'll be delighted, but right now I know it's me and I've been through this particular project and its techniques. We, we found some mistakes, we, we found some problems. And so I'm looking forward this year to learning, having learned from those problems, we're gonna have a good experience together. <laughs> All right, any other questions? None for me. Okay. All right, thanks everybody. Recording will be available on community.jenkins.io in about 24 hours. It should be 24 hours or less if I'm if I get all my work done for it. Thanks everybody. Have a great day and enjoy your weekend. Thank you. You too, Thank Mark. You. Thank you so much. See you.